Hey guys, if you dig the Mono Rogue, you can support us directly by picking up one of three awesome Mono Rogue t-shirt designs. Vanguard, Silverton, and Amendment 21, they're all at shop.themonorogue.com. What was the best arc in the Iron Man series? Uh, the one in his chest, the arc reactor. No, okay. <laughs> Bam! Cause I'm a Mono Improvised body armor. All right, so let's say it's the apocalypse. All the zombies are uprising. They're demanding minimum wages. And meanwhile, the vampires are eating the wolverines that are punching the Professor X's. And all this guy wants to do is go steal some Gatorade from across at the Quickie Mart. How is a middle class Joe like me, a gentleman, a warrior, and a scoundrel, supposed to pull that off? First of all, this sounds like a really bad Dungeons and Dragons session from junior high. I'm waiting for Mad Max to show up. Also, Mad Max shows up. Also, Mad Max shows up, <laughs> but he's got a lightsaber. Oh my God. How amazing would that be? Yes. Well, uh, you're gonna need some body armor. Yeah, dude, how good is body armor and why aren't we all wearing it all the time? It's a little cumbersome. It's also Texas and it would probably be very uncomfortable. Okay, but in my mind, body armor means one thing. We all think of Kevlar, which of course this is a super tough material that law enforcement use, but that's not the only way. The average Joe, I can't afford your highfalutin Kevlar. I'm too busy hiding underneath this sink, hoping that none of the clickers figure out I'm there. Clickers are there too? <laughs> yes, they're all there. It's a really rad story. The power of books, Brian. You're gonna make me read and learn. This comes from 100 Deadly Skills, a book written by an ex-Navy SEAL. Okay, how uh, how reliable? I assume this is like the Bible of taking care of yourself? Uh, we're gonna find out. Ooh, boy. There's some right. stuff in there that's kind of questionable if you ask me, but that's all the more reason for us to try it. So what can happen? You could get stabbed, poked, shot, and this will save you from how many of those? Yes. Wait, really? That's the idea. It's not your first choice, but when you're under fire, this is like John McClane, who's also in this universe, meets up with MacGyver and he says, I don't know, man, we gotta take these guys out. And MacGyver's like, hold on, I've got books. And then they team up, but they're also Voltron. I'll be over here. <laughs> <laughs> and then, it got, no, all you need is what you see right here. Uh, you got books, you got a cardigan that looks delightful, and you've got duct tape. Am I missing something? Yes, we also have some cheap ceramic tiles. <laughs> try to break it. You want me to try to break yeah, it? with your hands. Just try to break it. Well, the problem is ceramics, when they break, they oh, break bad. That's a good point. I mean, the problem is like, like I, like, I mean, right? The plan, I'm, I have much less confidence oh, in it. What? Oh, all of a sudden you're not sure you're gonna be Iron Man after this, because uh, before we started, you're all like, no, it's fine. Put it on <laughs> done. me, let's I'll do it. I'll just fly, you can fix the hole in the roof later. That, you didn't even hit that very hard. No, no, it's brittle, it's brittle. And sharp. I took a weapon and I made more weapons out of your defense. <laughs> this was for peace, Brian. <laughs> so you could get Gatorade for your family. All right, first step. You need at least like four hardcover books. You could probably use like phone books or something like that, but those are pretty sturdy, right? right. Reasonably. Yeah, yeah, uh, but we've done this show a year now, and I know everyone's gonna roll their eyes when they say it, but I sincerely mean it this time. When it comes to stopping bullets, it doesn't seem like paper would be that strong. Oh, Brian, be of little <laughs> faith. Can, can I get an idea? Yeah, do it. Okay, all right. Do it, yeah. yeah. All right, let's find out. Yeah, I mean, we I, saw I, we saw the ceramic wait, shatter. Yeah, right? It's like, so so, so so far, Hatchet is the, the Hatchet winner, right? I'm suddenly way less gung-ho than I was going in. After you just kind of smacked the <laughs> tile and... <laughs> I mean, yeah, again, it's brittle. All right, yeah. and I'm gonna go as hard, uh, ooh, eye protection. Eye protection. I am not gonna hold back. I am going to genuinely try, and I'm not gonna go flat on, because I know that that won't get down very far. I'm gonna try to hit it with that corner, so oh. it just goes ka-chunk, like, like okay. in all sincerity, I wanna make it all the way down into that second book, okay? As okay. deeply as I can. Okay. Give me something to shout. Uh, crumb. <laughs> all right, one, two, crumb! Bull <laughs> Bull the power of paper! Goddamn paper, my nemesis! <laughs> it made it down to, like, you barely see a dent on chapter four. What, not even halfway? Yeah. You wanna try it as hard as yeah. you can, yeah. as hard as you can. This time, the line from Krull, power is fleeting, love is eternal, and then, Gee. can I hit you instead? I'll just, I'll be back here. Power is fleeting, love is eternal. <laughs> All right, all right. Yeah. I'm, bu I'm buying it, I'm buying it. About about the same. Yeah, and and it felt like as hard as you possibly could with that, right? Yeah, that was, that was, that was hard. Uh, all right, what about stabby things? Cause that's a choppy thing. 
See, that's not bad. But I mean, like, as hard as I can, yeah, it's not getting anywhere. So you ready to uh, start uh, building? Yeah, I'm feeling, right. I'm feeling much better. Can I tell a secret? Yeah. You know, on my stage show, I take that 30 pound concrete brick, and break oh, yeah. it over my head. Yeah. This is the same thing. The reason I can do that is because the sledgehammer, every time it hits the ceramics, it creates thousands of micro fractures. And so the bulk of the force is absorbed by that giant brick. You just see the same thing in the physics demos where they have the sledgehammer laying on them and they go boom, like, yeah. that's, these are actually meant to break. Ah, uh, so it distributes the force. Correct. Super effective, not reusable. Correct. So like here, take this insulation, soft and gushy like you, right? Just a blunt force object. Yeah. That's what that looks like. Sure. Try it with the tile now. Oh, with the tile on top? Yeah. Right there. Same thing. Look at that difference. Oh, yeah. This one is your brain no longer works. This one is you've got a fighting chance. That's the power of all that fracturing. That is pretty remarkably different. I'm still disappointed that these broke so easily. They'll always break. That's yeah. what they are, they're made to break. That's, That's why they're there. Yeah. So the first step in building these is we're going to make two separate plates, a taping two books together on top of each other, Roger right? That. So you want that definite thickness. I would imagine that uh, anything less than an inch and a half, two inches, you risk. Because at this, I would suspect you might be as much as bulletproof. From some small caliber fire? Yeah. Like 22 or something? 22, I think it here, would definitely. Here, you roll these, I'll roll this. There we go. All right, so you just need a brick. I'm gonna just hold this and you can just roll it. There you go, there you go. All right, let's do the other one. Okay. So just as long as you got two bricks, you're good. Yep. <laughs> I could just hear diehard MacGyver over in the corner and the bad guys are like, come out, come out wherever you are. And then they hear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Those are bricks. So we got a couple of bricks. All right, so now what? Now we're gonna put them together and make another Larger one? Oh, make this into a whole. Yeah. And this is a good point, right? Because when you are shooting at someone, there's only two shots. You got the headshots and then you got the vitals right here. Yes. This is 100% of your vitals covered to some degree, right? Exactly. You probably don't, don't want to <laughs> run around. <laughs> you can't get a headshot. It's a little suspicious. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we'll make these into one brick. Okay. And yeah, you're, there's no reason to not be super generous oh, with the, the duct, duct tape. tape. Yeah. Plus also like the duct tape itself, I would imagine has that, that tensile strength, you know, yeah. it's gonna have that kind of rebound effect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and then you were saying you need ceramics? Yeah. Now, maybe we should scale it like armor? I don't uh, know, what do you think? Here's what'll happen, right? And the shattering is important, but the moment these shatter, they become dangerous, right? Yes. So let's do kind of like a low tech safety glass where- Do we wanna do Yeah, yeah, that? I think it's great, yeah. So it's like, they're gonna shatter, but all the pieces are gonna be in there. And then I'll put them on the- Just, it's fine. And so, yeah, I would say we probably want it to be all the way completely covered, right? Uh, yeah, especially since these are going to shatter and you're gonna have all of these, the duct tape will ID. I already cut myself a little bit. Like it's super ideally, safe, great armor. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> The duct tape will ideally hang on to all of the little sharp particles. Okay. Dude, uh, these will shatter for sure. Yeah. Um, that I assume will have some effect at stopping blades and bullets. How do you attach, you make a harness? Yeah. We're gonna put it like right here. You're gonna wrap it around me and then go over my shoulders again. Got it. This is why MacGyver and John McClane are a team. Are they? They work together, yeah. That's, how oh. else did they defeat Kroll? Come on, man. More of your, yeah. Tiamat, and the yep. chick from uh, Stranger Things shows up and she's all levitating and she goes, let's do this, boys. And they're like, we got armor. Here, spin. I, go, uh, keep going. I would read this out of more, this if it were a comic book. Out of morbid curiosity of just how bad it is. Uh, pfft, how bad ass, you left I out mean, the word ass. I lived through the clone saga and 90s image. Oh, you're talking about the, the Peter Parker? Yeah, oh, yeah. God. And it really can't be right. worse than like Youngblood, so. Right, here we go, here we go. Then, oh, the nice thing about these is they give something for this to hook on so it becomes a proper harness. Oh, yeah. So you kind of hook this underneath. There you go. It was way cleaner and neater in the book. And I'm intentionally gonna not cover up much of this other stuff because I don't want to get the visual illusion that this is safe to strike. Oh, like we, yeah. want, we want it really clear. Yeah, yeah. In fact, hold on, you, 
You, my friend, are a new breed of superhero. Target man. <laughs> oh boy, I see what you're doing. <laughs> We're gonna next putting the sweater in. I mean, if, if you want to ruin a sweater too, I'm, I'm down for all of the above. Pretty sure this is actually your sweater. It's good, it's a pro job. <laughs> you feeling it? I like it. I feel like the sweater may give you some protection if I miss. Mm, it's fine. All right, now how do you feel right now as far as mobility? Good. Yeah? Yeah. It's like I could dance a little bit in this. <laughs> I still got moves. I could fight. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Grab the nunchuck. Oh, oh yeah, actually, okay, all right, let's do this. Show me the Jason Murphy we all fell in love with. Remember what happened last yeah, I time? So I'm just, yeah. I'll be over here. I wonder if I, yeah, I think I got mobility. Don't you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I don't have one of those. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. No, it's a little weird. Okay, well that's fine. Around. Do you want to whack me real good with the nunchucks? Yeah. Ready? Do it. Oh, it's done, but it, it works. It's effective. I'm gonna do the super Oh, the big one. Did you know that when it came to self-defense, that police had two sticks? There was the day stick and then the night stick. Really? The night stick was the longer one. That's where that word comes from. Wow. <laughs> I felt like I was sucker punching you, and even as it was happening, I was thinking like, shouldn't do, shouldn't do, feels good. The only thing that sucked was on the follow through, you got my arm. Are you okay though? <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Right, right, back, yeah, but back, this back is, right, yeah, okay, this is right. nothing, man. Whoo, <laughs> whoo. <laughs> <laughs> Got me worse than it got you. Yeah. Okay, so so for bludgeons, objects? We're good. Because a lot of times when you see someone pull off the body armor or something like that, they're still bruised underneath, yeah, like yeah, really yeah. badly. Like, but you didn't feel nothing. It stung a little okay. bit. All right, so I suppose if we were wildly irresponsible, I could try stabbing you with the full-on knife. But I've already proven to my satisfaction that the knife will not make it in there. Yes. But I do want to know if it's the likely to slip to the side or anything, or, or what, if a glancing blow. So I'm gonna use the, the butterfly bottle opener. Fair, okay. I, I, was... I, just, I just want to experience the sensation of just dropping a shiv and letting you have it. Can, okay. can I, may I? I think so. Hey, you, uh, you that modern rogue? Trevor sends his regards. Wow. You did that with vigor. I, well, I've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I, in my head, since I've known you. When you're scripting, <laughs> when you're scripting out action sequences for your fan fiction. Yeah. Okay, all right, call that. Um, yep. You remember this bad boy, right? Yeah, how could I forget? <laughs> so obviously, it was the pellets that made this thing terrifying before. The they were tear gas. Really hard, too. Yeah, well, not as hard as rubber bullets, which is what I got for you this time. Oh, good. <laughs> you want to test them out? Like you're suppressing my protest or something? <laughs> yes, exactly. Here, uh, let me get some eye protection. So obviously these bullets are gonna kill you, but let's say you were just this guy, then. <laughs> look at that, look at, look at that. So do you believe I can hit that many for that many? Do it. I'm ready. Really? I'm ready. Really? Yes. All right. Round two. Hey, buddy, I don't know who you think you are, but you can't go running around like that. Not no crazy armor in this town. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay, now I'm more scared than you. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to grab you by the throat and raise you up, but do you remember the push-up thing? Yes. It didn't work out so well. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Wow. And this is nothing on there, huh? One final test. Ah, oh, geez. Full on hatchet, huh? <sighs> Who boy. Just don't slip and like hit me in the face or something. Well, that's, I mean, that's where we're irresponsible, right? I mean, we got to test yeah. whether or not I can chop through it. Absolutely. I already, both of us, tried to get through one book as yeah. hard as we possibly could. Can we just call it and say it's choppy proof? No. I, I just, okay. Still got to do it. <laughs> don't miss. I'm going to practice with the blunty side okay. first, okay? okay? I'm going to give it to you as hard as I can. Also, don't miss with that one. One, two, blunty side test. Yep. Oh, I mean, it was it was a formidable blow. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I heard it ring out and I assume that it shattered the... Oh my gosh. What? There's still bullets <laughs> in you! <laughs> <laughs> you are a T-1000. Oh. This is amazing. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna give you choppy side. All right, do it. You trust? I do. This is so bad, so bad. 
Oh. I chopped you. Yeah, it, it stung. It felt morally bad to me. <laughs> <laughs> there was a part of my brain, I'm like, I'm chopping my friend. I'm good, man. You're, you're done? It, yeah, I think the biggest pain was... Basically punched you. It, I, it was like the one inch punch. I think what it was was the space between the book and my stomach. And so when it hit, it was basically just the book like slapping against God, me. God, it stung, but that was about it. Plus I was tensed up. Yeah, sure, sure. And my abs could already pretty much deflect hatchets and bullets uh, anyway. All right, all right. We're gonna dissect you and see kind of how much of this survived. So outside of the gut punchingness, it felt not bad. It wasn't even so much a gut punch. It was just this flat surface slapping against my stomach. Holy cow. I don't even think the tile Busted. Actually, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did. Yeah. So, so again, that's that mi micro fractures. Yeah. The absorption of that energy went into fracturing this thing rather than fracturing your ribs. Look at that. We didn't. <laughs> we didn't even put in multiple layers of the tiles, which is something we totally could have done. Oh yeah. But I mean, but the, like, just you're made of. You're a more machine now than man. If I had to choose between having that and not having that on my kid, I'd be having that on my kid. Yeah. That's amazing. What are you gonna do now, Mad Max and I'm gonna, zombies? I'm gonna run fast right now. <laughs> get out of here, get out of here! Ah! Okay, that stuff is still really sharp. Oh, okay. <laughs> By the way. Sorry, sorry. <laughs>